We start this 10-day trend in the midst of a wintry week. Much of next week looks uh, more typically autumnal. The transition, though, could be quite interesting, and we have weather warnings in place. Snow and ice warnings for the next few days, uh, but that's then accompanied by rain warnings as we go into the weekend. This is the 10-day trend. I'm not going to go into the full detail of all of those weather warnings. Check out our website or our app for more details. Here's the bigger picture then, with the jet stream, that fast-moving ribbon of air high up in the atmosphere, diving to the south of the UK, meaning that we are on the cold side of the jet, which is why it has been so chilly. As we go through the next couple of days, we see a few ripples and wiggles on the jet stream, which are quite important. And by the time we get to Sunday, we've seen a switch from here to here, a 90-degree flip in the jet stream, and that has allowed much milder air to spread across the UK. So yes, it is going to turn milder by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday. But before then, as I said, these ripples in the jet stream are going to generate areas of low pressure, one just scooting to the south on Wednesday night and Thursday. And then, well, out in the Atlantic, it's a bit of a mess with one arm of the jet stream driving south and trying to develop this area of low pressure behind me. Another arm of the jet coming out from North America, and that's picking up these areas of low pressure. But it's actually this one that looks fairly innocuous, going to kind of merge with the one to the north. And this part of the jet stream is going to intensify this low. It's developing what we call a right entrance area to the jet. And look at it suddenly become quite a vicious area of low pressure by the time we get to Sunday. Now, the jet's going to push it up to the north of the UK, but these weather fronts swinging across the country from this low will bring wet weather. And with the isobars that closely packed, it's also going to bring some windy weather. More on that low in a moment, but first of all, let's deal with this one just scooting to the southwest through Wednesday night and Thursday, pushed along by the jet stream. Again, just how intense it is will uh, determine the exact flavour of the weather that we see across the southwestern quarter of the UK. As it moves to the south, the winds coming up from the south will introduce some milder air. Much of the UK will start with uh, a frost on Thursday morning. Towns and cities down below freezing. But that milder air coming into the southwest means temperatures here are a little bit above. But it's going to be a, miss, a messy mixture of rain, sleet and snow that we see from that low pressure because we're on the cusp of those temperatures. A subtle change bringing in slightly cooler conditions or slightly milder air from the sea will have big impacts. So yes, giving us a few headaches this area of wet weather, we are likely to see some snow Wednesday night and into Thursday, particularly over the moors, several centimetres. But there is the possibility, depending on local conditions and the exact temperature, that we could see some snow even getting down to lower levels for a time. Then there's this other zone of wintry weather coming south during Thursday night and into Friday for Northern Ireland, Northern England, parts of the Midlands and Wales. Again, that could have some snow mixed in. Again, most of it likely over the hills, but we could even see a covering at low levels and certainly likely to generate some icy conditions. And for the next 48 hours with the winds coming in from the north, that's just going to pepper Northern Scotland with more snow showers likely here. They may start to fade a little bit on Friday and by then slightly milder air is coming into many western areas. So the showers that we see on Friday, although initially could have some sleet and snow by the afternoon, will chiefly be of rain. And for much of southern Scotland, eastern England, southern England, good chunk of South Wales, actually a fine sunny day on Friday. Still pretty cold in the east, four or five degrees, but temperatures are starting to rise down across the southwest. Further southwest still, if I just shift out of the way, that zone of wet weather there, that is tied into that low pressure we saw at the start. There it is, pushing its way up between the UK and Iceland, but really intensifying the isobars, jumping out of it as we go through the weekend, generating some pretty gusty winds, particularly so for the Republic of Ireland, it looks like, later on Sunday. So that's something we need to watch. But as well as generating some wet and windy weather, it is coming in from the Atlantic. So it's also bringing in some milder air, the cold air in place until Friday night. And here comes that weather system just shunting away the colder air. But it's also bringing in the moisture. And as the moisture from these weather fronts hits the cold air, well, yes, we are likely to see at least some snowfall. Again, 
elevation, how high up you are, will really count. But we could see some heavy snow as it moves its way northwards over the hills of northern England and into Scotland. But even at lower levels, it could be a short blast of snow, and it could dump quite a bit, say, over the Vale of York, even at lower levels across parts of uh, Scotland. So that's another thing we need to watch. We also need to watch the rainfall totals building up. In the south of the Marla area, it will be rain that we see, but just highlighting here, these are the 24-hour rainfall accumulations, particularly the hills of South Wales and southwest England seeing some quite heavy bursts of rain and that could cause some problems as the rainfall builds up over the course of uh, Saturday in particular. These are the main three computer model projections, all showing the same thing, really, all just highlighting that zone across South Wales. Uh, Met Office model behind me, ECMWF, the European model here, and uh, GFS, the American model. The more coarser models, not really picking out too much detail, but uh, just highlights there over 100 millimeters across parts of uh, South Wales. That is pretty significant, that rainfall building up, and the even higher resolution UK Met Office model really picking out the hills of South Wales there, maybe as much as 150 millimetres. And quite widely in this zone over South Wales, South West England, we could see 50 to 75 millimetres of rain. Now, it has been quite a dry start to November, but October was pretty wet. And these kind of rainfall totals falling in 24 hours could cause some further disruption. So there are warnings in place for the rainfall. Here comes that snow in slightly more detail. You see the colder air in place again for much of the country on Saturday morning. And then that tracks its way slowly northward so that by Saturday afternoon, it's, it's mostly rain that we're seeing across the country. But as that wet weather moves north on Saturday morning, uh, parts of the trans pennine routes in particular, and then into parts of Scotland, could see a spell of snowy weather and accompanied by gusty winds as well, and uh, snowfall and strong winds, that means blizzards. So some pretty unpleasant traveling conditions on Saturday. So if you have got plans uh, traveling wise on the roads on Saturday, just bear that in mind and do keep up to date with the forecast. Low pressure generating that wintry weather then through the course of the weekend sits around up to the northwest of the UK for Sunday and Monday, generating more showers, but also as it starts to cross the cooler air just pulls back in down to the south of it. So yes, it, it turns quite a bit milder for Saturday, but then through Sunday and Monday, it starts to turn cooler once more with plenty more showers. Mostly those showers will be of rain. What about after that? Well, actually quite a strong signal here that low pressure dominates through the rest of this week into the weekend, but then we see a switch around into next week with the reds here indicating high pressure. That's the dates going forward. This is the multi-model, most likely pressure regime. Previous computer model runs down the side. Blue is low pressure, red is high pressure, and quite a strong signal there that we will flip over. But of course, not all high pressures are the same. This is just indicating pressure higher than average. It doesn't mean we're gonna have a high pressure sitting right over us. And when you break it down a little bit more, uh, and look at um, some of the regimes, the different types of flavor of high pressure that we could see. The most likely one, this mid red orange color here, is actually for Scandinavian high pressure to dominate. That's where high pressure is actually sitting over Scandinavia. Now, that can still bring the UK some dry weather, but it, it can, in some instances, also generate easterly winds. Actually, what's more likely is that the high is a little further south. Uh, the European model suggesting this is the most likely weather flavor for the second half of next week, with the high pressure sitting just to the south, low pressure systems sitting down to the west of the southwest. Some of these lows in some of the models do whiz across parts of the south, so that's something we need to keep an eye on. But in this kind of setup, with the, high, the winds going clockwise around high pressure and anti-clockwise around that, that low pressure, that would generate more southerly winds, and that would actually generate something a little bit milder. So, plenty going on in the short term. What do we know about next week? Well, we are likely to see things calming down at least somewhat. A colder start after things turn milder through the weekend, then turning milder again through the second half of the week. Remaining changeable, so yes, with the potential for low pressures to move in across the south, that could bring further spells of wet weather, but generally, higher pressure nearer by, uh, and that would indicate less lively, less turbulent weather than we are seeing this week. Do please keep up to date with all of the Met Office weather warnings through our app, through our website, and if uh, you haven't done already, subscribe to our YouTube channel.